Hey guys, take a minute with the video if you guys in today's video, we're going to talk about the iPhone 8 Plus going into 2023 and if it's worth it or not going this year, whether you're thinking from upgrading to it or just want to know if you should still be buying this phone or using it in 2023. We're going to discuss all of that and much more. So let's get started. So the iPhone 8 Plus here, as you can see here, it is now over five years since it's been released. It was released back in September of 2017, which it's hard to believe, but it is a five-year-old phone now. The iPhone 8 Plus here is a bigger size from the iPhone 8 here. It does have a nice 5.5-inch display here. And then as you can see here, body, well-built, rounded edges here. You got the back here, which is a glass, shiny glass back here. And then two dual 12 megapixel camera right here. Now I have the silver one here. You can see there's a gold edition one as well. And you can also get it in space gray edition. So those are three colors that it comes in and it starts with the 64 gig. You can get it all the way up to 256 gig as well. And that's kind of some of the features of the iPhone uh, 8 in terms of the body built to it. So, and you'll notice here, it does have that, of course, right off the bat that home uh, touch button or the uh, fingerprint reader here because in that model here the face ID wasn't introduced yet and along with other feature upgrade on the phone is these stereo type speakers that are built into it it does have a 11 bionic chip with 3 gigs of RAM which is an upgrade from the iPhone 8 which only has 2 gigs of RAM and again in terms of the battery size you get around a decent sized battery which is around 2691 mAh which gives you about 14 hours of video playback which again that is only if your battery health is at 100% but if you're like me over here this phone for example has been used for some time and the battery percentage drops to 76% which Apple generally recommends uh, doing replacement by this time but again the battery is all right on this device not the greatest when it comes to some comparing it to the new iPhone which you're probably comparing to the iPhone 14 plus which was introduced in the 14 lineup and along with that is the camera which you mentioned you saw that there's two 12 megapixel camera the front camera is only seven megapixel when it comes to just taking simple photos in HDR works fine now you do have that added feature of the portrait mode which this phone does have and when it comes to video recording you can record up to 4k 60 frames per second which create some really good sh videos on this phone but what the phone does lack in some of the newer features on the iPhone like the cinematic mode the action mode for more stabilization night mode pro raw and then macro mode those upgraded features of course you don't get with the iPhone uh, 8 plus unfortunately some of those technologies were later introduced now moving on to the next thing is around the software which is the biggest thing for this phone considering this is a five-year-old phone and we were kind of surprised that of course iOS 16 was supported and for the most part you can take uh, download and install iOS 16 which we did a review for and we kind of went through with and if you guys want to check that out which gives you pretty much a lockdown of all of the features which this phone for the most part can kind of take advantage of it and when it comes to all the software we've been testing because it's running on the latest iOS 16 version, all of the social media, all of your popular application when it comes to just simply using it for uh, entertainment purposes because this is a nice 5.5 inch display here. Again, phenomenal for all of that and much more for it. So again, iOS 16 works pretty good for the phone as we see here. Some people haven't upgraded yet, but make sure you guys check out that video that we did the reviews to see all of the features on the iPhone 8 Plus here. And kind of that brings us to the next big question. If in terms of iPhone 8, will it get iOS 17? Which is a big question for this phone because we see generally five year is the mark that most iPhones are supported up to before their drop. We saw iPhone 6S, which got an extra year. So maybe iPhone iOS 17 might be supported. Again, it's still very early in the year because iOS 17 comes out later in the end of the year kind of thing we won't be able to know until we get closer to that date which we'll let you guys know once we know for sure as well but other things as well when it comes to kind of doing all of we mentioned social media your video watching if you're using it for your th favorite shows and uh, and such it will work good but when it comes to gaming again because the gig on this phone is about three gigs and with the a11 bionic chip it's only i would say it's pretty good for 2d gaming when you're thinking about doing 
heavy graphic gaming, you probably want to consider something newer because when it comes to graphic gaming that you meant to play on the console, again, the phone will do show some lag and some performance issue and the battery will get a little bit hot. So probably not recommended for gaming. But other things, like the example for music streaming and video streaming, again, works really well on those because it doesn't have too much too much consumption on the hardware itself. And lastly, can conclude this video, is the iPhone 8 Plus worth it going into 2023? Now, this is gonna be one of those questions where it kinda depends what you're looking for. So if you're looking for a basic phone to do the simple stuff, which is around just simply calling, texting, and just browsing on the internet without any fancy stuff, and then using your day-to-do -day applications without really looking for all that speed and power and upgraded camera the iphone 8 plus is a great choice and still worth it for you simply because the fact that it gets the basic things done if you have it already it's an affordable device and if not if you're thinking about buying it from an older phone the iphone 8 plus you can pretty much score it around 150 dollars or so apple no longer produces it but if you look at ebay or on amazon which will leave the link in the description section you can pretty much score this phone at around, like I said, around $150 or so. Again, pretty cheap considering that the iPhone 14 Plus, which is a comparable one, costs almost close to $1,000. So you're paying almost one-tenth the price for pretty much the same software runs on a new phone. Of course, it might be a little bit slower and that's because of the aged hardware but again shouldn't be a bother for someone looking for a functional device without all the fancy upgrade and the latest update in technology but now if you're looking for all those upgrades like we mentioned of better battery upgraded camera you might be considering of course something in the iphone 13 lineup or even the 14 plus which is the latest model you can get on apple's website but again to finally conclude it's a decent device going into 2023 Maybe not for the next year after that, which we might not see the software update, but definitely in the next one one year and year and a half, this phone is good. But after that, you might consider upgrading to something newer with a better performance just because we'll start to see the age kind of start to show on this phone as well. And lastly, the other big thing about the iPhone 8 Plus here. Again, you don't have 5G. Now, if you're really looking for 5G connectivity, which was introduced with iPhone 12 and above, you may be considering that. But one thing about the iPhone 8 Plus that kind of brings up when you talk about 5G and connectivity is that SIM, physical SIM card. We saw on the iPhone uh, 14 lineup in the US model, there is no longer a physical SIM card. And it kind of matters for some people because if you take it out of the country or if you're a person that likes to swap out the SIM a lot, and you don't have to call your carrier. This is where unlock phone like iPhone 8 Plus, you can simply do that without having to activate an eSIM and deactivating an eSIM all the time. Again, it's one of those little things, but then does matter for some people. And that's kind of it for this video. We want to hear from you guys. What's your thought on the iPhone 8 Plus going into 2023? Have you guys used it? What do you guys think about it? Leave a comment in the comment section with your experience. And while you're at it, make sure to hit that like and subscribe button. Thanks for watching, guys. See you guys next time.